Why, hello there. Jacob here. And today, I have a little bit of a hodgepodge unboxing extravaganza. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have a couple of things to unbox for you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, yeah, like I said before, this is sort of a hodgepodge, if you may say, of unboxings, including one NASCAR and one jersey. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, open up the diecast car first. And this comes to us from Circle B Diecast, where I've gotten a few NASCAR diecasts from them in the past. Plan B, or yeah, Plan B diecast and uh, Circle B and stuff like that. They were uh, basically kind of together and stuff like that. I think they have joint partnership a few years ago and stuff like that. So, yeah, like I say, this is probably one of my go-to places for when I buy diecast cars, even though I don't buy them as often as I used to, especially as a young kid. But uh, I had to make an exception for this one. In fact, this year... I think the only other die cast that I've bought in 2023 was the uh, Kevin Harvick um, All-Star 29 Bush light car, where he threw it back to his Atlanta win from 2001 as part of his Forever Tour, which he's since then retired. And well, ironically enough, packing peanuts aside and all that stuff, Boom. Here is the die cast. It is the Kevin Harvick 2023 Bush Light Peach car. And this should be on, yep, this is a die cast body and chassis. So, uh, yeah, like I say, that's unboxing number one. Go ahead and kind of quick look over this die cast here i kind of like to do that especially since lionel um they don't always have the greatest track record when it comes to their die casts and quality let's just put it that way so go ahead and get this out of the box real quick here as you can see here's the little plastic wrap that it's on And like I say, with this being an alcohol car, it's going to be on a base. Or like an adult car, basically, it's going to be on a base. But, uh, yeah. Here it is. Looks pretty nice. I mean, from what I can see... The bush light peach on the front. It's definitely a little bit heavier of a car. It says right here, brake for bush. Bush light peach on the back. Here's the side that looks the same. And, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, this isn't too bad of a die cast. I mean, definitely looks good and stuff like that. So, uh. Yeah, like I say, that is unboxing part one. So let's go ahead and quick get this back into its rightful home here. And we'll get on to part number two. Well, anyway, I'll go ahead and kind of deal with getting this back together here in just a couple minutes. Now we're on to part two. The jersey. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Fanatics was running one of their massive, massive sales that it seems like Fanatics always ends up running around this time of year. And this particular jersey that I got in this box, well, let's just say um, I got it for 20 bucks shipped. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I got this bad boy right in here for 20 bucks shipped. And this particular jersey comes to us from the NFC East. And this particular player was a stud for several years for this team before he ended up eventually leaving them. 
He could probably tell who it is. Boom. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is a Dallas Cowboys Ezekiel Zeke Elliott jersey. Oh, yes. And this thing is a very, very nice jersey. I will say, though, even if you're not a Cowboys fan, or I know a lot of people here, you know, it's very easy to hate on the Cowboys and stuff like that. I've always liked their uniforms and stuff like that, and I've always been kind of lukewarm on them. I mean, I've never been, like, a fan or anything like that, but I'm also not one of those, you know, weed and boy haters or whatever you want to say. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and actually get into the jersey. So, yeah, this is a Nike game jersey. So, you know, it's just your typical heat applied, screen printed on mumbo jumbo. And uh, I got this bad boy in a size 2XL. This is their uh, white jersey, by the way, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I really can't say this is their home or their road. This is basically just their white jersey because the Cowboys are one of those teams that pretty much just wears whatever whenever i mean you know they'll wear this for like four or five weeks and they'll go to a throwback for a couple of weeks and they'll wear their blues and then they'll go back to this and then this is both a home and a road i mean yeah the cowboys have always done that though so they're one of those teams that always changes their looks and stuff like that or just you know rocks the same four jerseys throughout the year whenever and as you can see here the 21 heat applied Elliot on the back and of course with this being a uh, Cowboys jersey the tag has the Cowboys uh, thing on it and this was originally a 130 but like I say this bad boy right here I got for 20 bucks shipped that's right ladies and gentlemen 20 bucks when they had their just crazy sales on these bad boys i mean elites were down as low as like 60 bucks for the clearance elites the game jerseys i saw i think it was a carson wentz was the cheapest and they wanted like 15 for it total like 15 bucks so i got this bad boy for 20 bucks and again it's you know <laughs> ezekiel elliott zeke was one of those running backs that's just an absolute tank he's an absolute beast when you know he was on it's just you know father time kind of caught up to him age this and that and the other thing and he did lose a couple steps you could argue too like when he got paid that big deal things kind of changed a little bit but i mean for about four or five years though zeke was that dude like zeke was just an absolute stud of a running back and now he's in New England, really not getting the time of day. I mean, New England's an absolute... They're a train wreck. We'll just put it that way. So, yeah. <laughs> but with all that said, here are the pickups. My Kevin Harvick 2023 Bushlight Peach. And a game jersey of Ezekiel Elliott from the Dallas Cowboys. So, yeah. That'll basically conclude this video. So until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good day.